Hello everybody and welcome to my Feral Druid 7.01 interface guide. So I want to ramble a bit first before we kind of get on with the good stuff. If that is kind of boring to you or pointless, just feel free to skip a bit ahead. That's fine. So I have spent it so much time already, and it's just a few days after the patch has been launched, but it's kind of makes me wonder why one even bothers this because damn it takes a lot of time um, and one of the things I really was annoyed about like there's never been a time where a patch came out in World of Warcraft where add-ons didn't break and we pretty much had to redo uh, most of the interface and whatnot which just takes so long time but then I kind of started whining a bit, but I also got some new information, like the add-on developers, they really don't, uh, you know, make a lot of money on this and stuff like that. It was kind of interesting to know about that. I always thought that there would, would at least be some money in it, but it's like they get PayPal vouchers and stuff like that via curse and whatnot. It's not even that much money, and they spend a crap ton of time debugging and fixing things when the patch is done out. Which is just, <laughs> I guess I can't complain, but damn, do I spend way too much time uh, doing this uh, uh, interface crap whenever a new patch comes out. But um, yeah, that was just a little bit of a rant there, I suppose. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get on with it. So the first thing I want to show off is my weak ores. Weak ores are always kind of the, you can say, the most interesting part. So currently I only have three weak ores on my druid, which is well plenty. The first one is from Porket, so that is a field druid that is very known in the community. He has made just you know, I'm still using his proc and ability ores, so you know, enchantments and even new things uh, will be you know, they will be down in this little area here where I put them and it's easy to resize and whatnot so this was a nice string to handle I really just like this one string just because it's very easy and so forth but yeah uh, Pockets has also made another feral string which he which I did use beforehand but now I switched it around to another one so let's start off with my new feral string so at the top bar here you're gonna see three things it's gonna be clear casting then it's gonna be um, uh, what's it called I can't even not quite remember the, the second one there and then it's gonna be um, the um, <laughs> I can never remember the names but yeah predator clear casting and yeah I think it's like two clear casting or something like that but basically it's to show procs in a nice way that kind of just, you know, you have your eyes centered around your debuff, but up in the bottom part here, you're going to have all the procs shown in a nice line, which is something I very much enjoy. Now, a bit of a fun thing in here. Normally, if you don't have um, the uh, Moonfire Lunar Inspiration talent, so that is that talent, I'm going to have my... Uh, combo points in the middle here where the lunar fall uh, icon would be now another thing is that I think this string is going to change a bit when the author gets time to make those changes but the incarnation king of jungle is not really needed it's not that important to track in the weak ores and whatnot but yeah for now that's pretty much just a placeholder then we have uh, Rake and Fresh and Rip, and they have a very nice thing here. He even updated it to include Jagged Wounds, the Pandemic Threshold, which is very important for Feral Druids. Um, so you can see this little pinky square up here. When that little square appears on the icon, that is when you want to refresh your uh, debuffs. So in my case, that's like two seconds before Rake is uh, running out and so forth. But yeah, if I haven't chosen Lunar Inspiration, or if I have chosen Lunar Inspiration, uh, the combo points is gonna be at the bottom here. But since I don't have Lunar Inspiration, because Bloodsend is just better talent in my case, then uh, the combo points is gonna be down here. But um, yeah, Weak Ours is always uh, you know, a work in progress. So um, I want to show off my Feral tanking Weak Ours now. 
Yeah, I like to call it feral tanking, but I have to remember it's called Guardian now to not confuse people, I suppose. So this is the weak ores for, you know, pretty much anything you need to track for tanking. Now there are some things that the weak ores are not tracking, so those things are covered by another add and I will talk about in a bit. But as you can see, like, I think the only thing it doesn't proc would be um, Moonfire and Barkskin, yeah. So Moonfire and Barkskin and Gertie and Veloon, that's not the only things it doesn't proc. Uh, let's see, let's just pop some things here. So as you can see, when I don't have enough rage, the icons goes up there. Then I also have my charges. Uh, how many charges left I have for inside regeneration and my um, chill wall. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's a very nice one and I think this is also gonna get changed and so forth. One of the things I especially like about this one is just because it has a nice big rage bar. Obviously you can make this as small as you want but I kinda like that because rage is really important to have a good overview now on. Especially with the changes to tanking but yeah that's a whole nother video. <laughs> But yeah, that was pretty much it for the week ores. Uh, I'll I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, go check that out, and you can, you know, all credit goes to the people in the threads there posting these uh, links here. All credit goes to them. Very nice job of all of them to do this much work, you know, just days after the patch has been out. But um, yeah, let's see if I can get out of combat. Okay, I am out of combat now. <laughs> yeah, so let's move on. Uh, da, 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 what else could I real fast mention? Yeah, let's go into need to know. Stampeding Roar, Dash, Galactic Guardian, Barkskin, Guardian Loon. These are pretty much the only things I want to track as uh, a feral tank now. So I use need to know for this. Then I have my taunt. I track taunt just because you know the increased extra threat for three seconds after your taunt is sort of nice. So you kind of well, it's a minor thing. Then I choose mass entanglement just because it's the superior talent. So obviously you want to track mass entanglement. Then I have spirit shift. Uh, this could be any trinkets, but I just you know currently use spirit shift for tanking. Mighty Bash, that's another talent that I don't currently have because the Mass Entanglement is superior. I kinda hate now that we can go get both of these uh, two choices here, but yeah, Mighty Bass is another one you should uh, definitely track. Whisper Rai Ross, that's just a toy item. It's just nice to kinda track these things. Also, just because it, this one wasn't nerfed, so like it still works in Legion and so forth. Incapacitating raw. <laughs> this one's so crap, but you might as well track it. And then obviously you're gonna track entangling roots just because say you are, you know, you just rooted a mob and you're gonna be in, you know, gonna be pulling, but you still need to track when the uh, crowd control is over. It's just nice being able to uh, quickly get an overview of how long the root is gonna last. So that is pretty much it for the need to know add-on. So, um, let's see what else could I talk about, Spiral, spiral specific, I don't think there is just too much currently. No, I actually think that's pretty much it for the Feral specific things. Now I also want to just quickly showcase what all the sort of add-ons that I use. It's not that interesting, but yeah, Arskis, Ark Inventor for my bags, Auctionator, Auto Seller, that is an, well, obviously, Auto Turn In is for Auto Turning In Quest. Ah, uh, let's see. Bad Boy. Ah, or can I? <laughs> okay, let's uh, try that again. Bad Boy, very good trait uh, and filter add on. Bartender is also for my bars. Collectinator. Hooray, collector Adam. You really should just get this one. Crabby chat fix. That is for being able to know do this here. So you can keep, because uh, Blizzard disabled that. 
which is very annoying for this add-on sorted that out I've had that for very long now Decursive, very good uh, add-on for dispelling so I have my decursive bars here at the scroll where I'm going at now uh, enchanted chat field I almost want to highlight this just real fast uh, <laughs> there you go Okay, I had to close it down. But yeah, and chat fi filter is just amazing. So like, if I want to ban every sentence with dirt, I'm just gonna type in dirt here, and I'm gonna type in hide, and everything is uh, hide it with dirt in it, and so forth. Really, just uh, amazing add-on. Love it. Error filter to this to remove all the uh, you know bullshit errors things. Flash taskbar. Everyone knows about that. So. If you're gonna get like attacked while you're alt tap die wall, that's gonna pop up. Gnomi Surrender Stringer, very good uh, add on. I do believe it hasn't been uh, updated. Nope, I'm not currently using it. Yeah, but I don't think this one has been updated just yet. But basically, it's a very good vendor add on that just makes uh, you know the vendor interface change. Grid works perfectly in the patch, it's just always the good uh, choice for your average, uh, maybe not non-healer, I suppose if you're a healer there are other choices. Group find a silence, this is amazing, the silence, the uh, the pling sound you get when you're in a group, which is very nice. In flight, uh, not that interesting, keeps item level, it kind of just shows the item level and enchantments of your gear in the character interface, cool enough there. Uh, let's see, Marker Toolkit, definitely want to highlight this one. It makes you able to write very long markers and it makes you able to drag around the macro video and it also just gives some other utilities. So very good macro add-on there. Maps, the very good map add-on as well. Uh, let's see, Mix Squalling Combat, way better than the default Blizzard even in the new patch that was changed, it's still better. So let's see. Move anything. Yeah, I actually want to highlight a bit of thing now. I'm actually getting annoyed by the add-on list now being right in the window. So let's go into move anything and change that. So let's just see if I couldn't find it real fast. Nope, gonna have to go in there. So, what I just did now was F stack, which is a future to be able to find the uh, list. So, the frame add on list is called add on. And I can just quickly remove the F stack again. Okay, it's so weird, it doesn't seem to show <laughs> actually. Okay, not quite sure what's up with that. But yeah, basically this add-on here, it's just so good. So as you can see, these uh, menus here that I'm scrolling through now are all the different things that I have moved around or resized to my own uh, specifications. Very good add-on and you should definitely get it. Uh, let's see. Prod, very good chat add-on, outfit to Omni CC. Very good add-on as well. Premake group finder. This one, if you've seen the video by now, you'll probably notice that a lot of things are popping up from groups. That is just uh, the add-on finding groups for me that I might want to uh, join, like specific mount groups and so forth. Quads, everyone knows about that one. Scrape, server hub, shadow uniframes. Shadow uniframes is obviously the uh, frames down here. Smart tap type, this is actually great for PvP and stuff like Aspen and whatnot. I like that a lot. Target jumps, definitely do want to highlight this one just real fast, just because that is a very good add on. So let's see, find a group. Let's just go in garrison fishing or something. Tome of monkey. Now, obviously, I can't find. So let's just use server hub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so target charms doesn't pop up unless I'm the leader, obviously. Sorry, just hang on here. Yeah, start group. 
list of moves. So there you go. This is target jumps. If you're a raid leader or you know want to be serious about your you know utilities and whatnot, this is just a really great add-on. So you can quickly mark up targets. You can remove them again, and you can set the world markers, which is probably the most important part. And you can quickly remove them again. Just very, very handy add-on. Uh, I can't really find anything bad about this one. Just superior in every other add-on out there, and especially Blizzard's default uh, interface. So let's see, Titty plates. Everyone knows about that one. Titan Pal, Trade Forward. This one's actually kind of funny. If you're like on a bank alt and you need to leave the cover till, you can always see the trade channel like this. It's pretty sweet. Nips chat chaps, very good add-on. So as you can see here, my chat chaps are very, you know, li nice looking and so forth. This is the other that does that. If it's some customization and whatnot, it takes a bit of a while to set it up, but it's very good. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Kinda went through all the add-ons and fair specific things by now. So as always, I hope this uh, was useful to a bit of a long video and whatnot, but this is just how my interface is currently. Like, every patch is probably just gonna break something <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's life, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I hope the next patch is not gonna be as bad as uh, 7.0 was. Probably won't be. I can't imagine uh, anything worse than the patch we have just went through. But um, yeah, I want to sh show a bit of a uh, weak ores and whatnot combat stuff here now and then. So as you can see, when I have five comp points, the square goes big like this. And again, pandemic there. And again, this is all the free little bars. So I have my, you know, instant cast, my blood strike, and if I could just get a clear cast as well. Let's see if I can get a clear cast to soon. Nope, not currently getting a clear cast. But yeah, this is pretty much how it's gonna look like. I really like the, uh, the interface so far, and uh, I definitely got a better interface now than I did in the last patch, I suppose. It takes a while, but um, yeah, <laughs> I think I will we'll end it with that, and as always, have a good one.